This week on the Spotlight, we talked to Alejandro de Aza, solid left-handed hitter, trying to drive in runs. Robin has some thoughts, analyzes injuries and other things. Then we flash back. Danny Tartable was once with the White Sox. I forgot that he was till I saw this video. And congratulations to Duncan Keith. The Blackhawk defenseman is the NHL Norris Trophy winner. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. It's the 25th year of the Lansing Floral Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to the Cove for my trivia game. The next one, Wednesday, July 16th at 8 p.m. Great people, great game. Easy to reach, 1750 East 55th Street, right by the lake. See you at the Cove for Benkowski Trivia. Wax on, wax off. A great salon and spa for men's haircuts and women, too. 1044 West Taylor Street. I go there, you should, too. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. TUX Company has real estate investments. You can buy Chicagoland properties and make some money. Profit opportunities since 1985. Call my friend Mr. Thomas at 773-456-3057. Real estate investments make money. Call Mr. Thomas. Union Park Bar and Grill. Open at 11 a.m. daily at Jackson Racine. Huge full bar, tons of screens, great sandwiches and appetizers. Great staff, they have their own parking lot, daily specials, always fun. Every time I go there, it's great. Union Park Bar and Grill. Lisa Davis, Insurance and Tax Services at 10702 Southwestern Avenue, specializing in rollovers, tax recovery, tax resolution, auto, home, life, business insurance. Call them at 773-873-8977 to help you with your federal insurance plan. Lisa Davis. Wax on, wax off. A great salon and spa. I go there, you should too. Call them at 312-226-1473. Men's cuts, women head to toe. Nails, 1044 West Taylor Street in Chicago. And they even have great hours. Open each day at 10 a.m. We're back in the spotlight. And one of my favorite moments in the last couple, three years was the first time I talked to Alejandro de Aza. And I walked up to him. And I said, preferido inglés or espanol? And he looked me in the eye and said, I don't care, whatever you want. <laughs> and I don't know, for some reason I felt like repeating that, but sure enough, uh, Alejandro, more than glad to do his uh, interviews in inglés. And uh, he's been a, an important man in, in the Sox scheme of things. Uh, maybe not a, as important as he was when he was batting leadoff, but I never thought that was the right position for him anyway. That was more by default. You had a fast guy who could play it, but I always thought of him as an RBI guy, and I think that is where he excels. He's batted seventh a lot this year, but the way Robin Ventura's batting order has gone, he's like to put lefty hitters one, three, five, seven, and we discussed that idea too. Uh, Alejandro talks about any and all subjects, including the pitching staff, He's uh, a veteran now and trying to figure out where this team is going, just like we all are. <laughs> we're back in the spotlight, and we're talking White Sox baseball. Just trying to get a handle as you uh, hit July, the mood of the club, and uh, the feeling about having a little momentum now and, uh, and going after some teams. Well, um, the momentum is great. Um, the, the feeling is there. We, we're grinding, and we pl uh, try to play good so we can win some game. And... Uh, Thing has just been happening. You, you guys started off so hot offensively. You were averaging almost five runs a game for, for almost two months. It cooled down a little, but I, but I, I see the spark again. 
Uh, tell me a little bit about how uh, about your team's offense. Well, um, the offense is always there. The thing is, you know, every day is not going to be the same, you know. And uh, we just have to keep grinding and keep hitting. And uh, that way, we, uh, with our pitching staff, we can win a lot of games. You guys, uh, you have a little more speed than you've had in past years. But we haven't seen so much of it uh, with, with stolen bases or, or putting people in motion. Huh? Why, why aren't you guys running more, do you think? Well, I don't know. Uh, the game gonna dictate this, that you know. Um, if uh, if we down by a lot or we winning by a lot of um, game, uh, run, I mean, we are we obviously we we don't, we're not gonna run. But it's um, like I told you that the the, the game gonna dictate if we're gonna run or not. Well, that you know, you make a great point because you're, although your team has shown great ability to come from behind. You are behind a lot, it seems. I mean, I don't know why this is, but uh, you you make great comebacks. But a lot of t games, I look two nothing, three to one, fourth inning, fifth inning. These are not the best running situations. N no, it's not the best uh, running situation. We um we have a good uh, player, good hitter out there, and we uh, we have to let them swing the bat to see what we can get from them. You know. One thing I noticed too, uh, Robin seems to enjoy. Uh, alternating the lefty, righty, lefty, righty throughout the lineup, and you have a couple more left-handed hitters than you've had in the past. So with with you and Dunn and uh, and and Eaton, you know, he kind of and Gillespie kind of spreads you throughout the lineup. What do you think about this? It's great. It's great. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's not bad having having lefty, right, lefty, righty because um, that's make it hard for the other team, you know, and uh, it's. He's doing the best to win the game, and that's about that was about right here. You know, that's the most important thing: win game. Well, it, I, I've seen like it seems like your starters are starting to come into their own. They're get they're they're pitching a lot of scoreless innings, and the bullpen is trying to match up. Uh, how do you think this will play out uh, into August and September? Well, um, uh, all of our pitcher, and uh, personally, I, I trust in all of them. And we all believe on them, and uh, I know I know that we are gonna we're gonna be in there. We're gonna battle. We're gonna be in the in in the game, you know. And uh, we don't stop. We know we never give up, and we're never gonna give up. We're just gonna keep grinding. Even it's night inning, it don't matter. We're gonna keep grinding. Cool. One last question. What about yourself? What what one thing would you like to tweak and improve uh, in the remaining months of the season? Well, um, keep playing hard. Keep playing hard, help, me, help the team win game. That's that's the main point. All right, keep on doing it. Thanks. Thanks. You've got to get to Lindy's Gerties at 110th and Kedzie. Besides the main menu of burgers, hot dogs, salads, chicken, steak, kids menu, and a really wide variety, it is ice cream season, and they have shakes, floats, soft serve, all kinds of stuff. Lindy's Gerties. 110th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop, Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. They come to you. You call them at 773-908-6081. Lowest prices, new and used. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They'll do your windshield, back window, or sides. They did a great job for me. They'll do a great job for you. And you'll be amazed at how quickly they come in and finish it up. Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. Nuevo Leon, for the best Mexican cuisine since 1962. Serving every day from 7 a.m. to midnight. Conveniently located 1515 West 18th Street, just a block east of Ashland in Chicago. Of course, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a wide range of menu items. Everything from steak, seafood, to breakfast, to chicken, pork, dine-in, carry-out, Tacos, enchiladas, everything you can imagine, and great quality in Nuevo Leon, 1515 West 18. 
You've got to get to my Salerno's trivia game at Grandin Racine Thursday, July 10th at 8 p.m. We have great questions, great people, great food, great drink. It's just great all the way around. Salerno's Trivia, July 10th. Be there. We're back in the spotlight. We're talking White Sox baseball, and we're talking the manager, Robin Ventura. And here's another session with him. I start off by talking about the recently completed road trip. We segue into a lot of different subjects. And Robin answers everything, because that's what he has to do every day before the game and after the game. So here's some of the before the game with Rock and Robin. So the mood is good after a, a few wins. Uh, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, it's always better you, you win a few, but, um, you know, we played well. I think in those three games you end up, you, uh, you play a complete game. So... Uh, you know, I think we played better defense. Uh, you know, there's a couple of hits there you get that if we would have got a couple of those at another point in the road trip, you, you know, things would be different. But, uh, you know, they, they play hard. I mean, they, they've come in and uh, continue to just grind it out. And, uh, you know, you end up with a different feeling than you did when we started. You got a lot of close games, a lot of... I think your last 10, your last 12 have been two run games or less. Is it about uh, learning how to win? Is it about finishing those off? Is it a good thing that you know you're right there? And, and well, it's good that you have a chance. I mean, I, you know, for us, you, you go through a lot of these games, and you know, you're gonna have games during the season that you know you're not gonna have a chance to win. But you know, there's a lot of them on this road trip you have a chance to win. So uh, you know, they continue to understand how to play in, in those type of games and I think it, for having a lot of young guys it's it's good. It's good to learn how to play that way and good to learn how to win those games. In your mind, do you have three all-stars? I mean you might, might not have thought about them in, the air, in uh, Sale, Ramirez and Ray, do you see any way they, they shouldn't be at that game? No, I mean, you know, I think they are. You know, definitely the way they've played this year um, you know, I, I think those guys deserve to go but you know, year after year, we're, you know, you're going to sit there and talk about guys that, that don't end up going. But uh, do they deserve to go? Absolutely. They deserve to go and, and be part of that and, and be recognized as uh, all-stars. I know you, with a bullpen, it's probably a little easier if you could plug people in by inning. But by necessity, you're making more moves. Are you getting into the chess game of it? What's that now? The more, the more moves that you've had to make with the bullpen. Well, it's you know. changed. I mean, I you know you don't necessarily have a, a guy that you know is going in in the night. So we start the game probably with an idea who you'd like to use that night. But you know the bullpen the way it is right now, it's you know we're going by usage, uh, mass up, matchups, and uh, you know just the feeling of who who you want in there at that time. And you know there might be more moves, there might be less moves. You don't you don't really know on a daily basis of, of who you're going to use in which spots. Bray really doesn't care about the home run derby. He may or may not do it, but he seems to be that he's all about the team. I mean, is it just he continues to show that it's just team first? I mean, how impressive. Yeah, that? I mean, that's a mature way to think about it. I think even for a guy that uh, is going through his first time of everybody wanting him to do this and wanting him to do that, that, uh, you know, that that's his first thought. And it's been that way, you know, since he got here, since he arrived here. He's, he's always been talking about the team and, and uh you know, just trying to win games and, and what is ever what's best. So I think even for him going to the home run contest, he could do it uh, if, if he feels like he can do it and still come back and have the same swing and feeling that he has right now. He'll probably do it. But in the end, if he if he doesn't feel like he's gonna come back and, and you know, it's like playing in a scramble golf tournament. You know, for the guy that hits it a long way. It, you know, for sometimes some people like doing that, and they feel like that won't mess with their game. And some people will play in a scramble, and it'll screw them up for a long time. So it, it, he's mature enough to, to decide that on his own. Do you think there's extra pressure of being wanting to be respectful to the city of Chicago, the Major League Baseball, uh, just the event well, there's, itself? There's the part country. of there's part of it just because everybody wants him to do it. Yeah. Do I think he would win it? Probably. Just you know, just watching him on a daily basis, he, he has as good a chance as anybody to, to win it. Uh, do you want to do that at what you would think would be at the cost of uh, 
your swing and, and your production from here on out. Uh, that, that's for him to decide. If he thinks he can do it and still you know, keep his timing and all the things that, that make him a good hitter, then he, he could do it. With the injury, him having missed time with that injury, Robin, gave that, do you think him having... And we will have more of Robin Ventura next week, right here on The Spotlight. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more, dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Austin, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget, the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. Little Frank's Pizzeria and Bar, easy to reach, 6353 West 79th Street. On Thursdays, Buck 50, Miller and Old Style. Trivia, alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. They have $15 large pizza and pitcher all day, every day. Little Frank's on 79th. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Does tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Amelia's Bar and Grill at 46th and Halsted, open for lunch and dinner daily. La Mode Cerdo Portrero and Mar, Ceviche a Limon, Salmon al Carbone, new cocktail menu, margaritas, martinis, sangria, Updated, Amelia's Bar and Grill. Join him in those RBI situations. And we're talking with Danny Tartable, who certainly, uh, at this point in the year, you've been through pennant races uh, throughout your life. And uh, it's an exciting time, and it, it seems to have really uh, got you going. Well, you know, I feel very fortunate right now that, uh, that I'm in this position. Uh, I know that there's other players on other teams that want to be in, this, in the position that we are right now here in Chicago, and uh, it's an exciting part of the year, and uh, hopefully we can, you know, you know, do well the rest of the year and, and uh, come away with a pennant. What are the main differences that you see at the plate uh, here uh, into September that, that you weren't seeing, uh, let's say, early in May? Well, I would say the difference uh, early, early on in the season is that, you know, I, I hit a lot of balls right at people early on. And, and uh, you know, when you look at the box score and you're 0 for 4, or well, if you're 0 for 4, but they don't know that there's been quality of bats there and, and, and that I've hit balls in gaps and uh, they've been caught and line drives of people that are, that are out. So I, don't, I haven't done anything any different and they're just, start, they're just starting to fall. Some of your teammates have said they kind of marveled at your ability to keep your cool in view of what would have to be termed bad luck for, for a stretch of time, but uh, uh, good things come to those who wait. Uh, it, it certainly has, and the Lord is blessing, blessing me right now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm coming away with another, another good year, for, for, at least for me, and so uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. And uh, It's, it's kind of hard to keep your cool when you're not going well. Uh, but you know, but you have to try to be a professional at it, and, and I think that that's uh, that, that's your that's your ultimate goal when you step onto the plate. You've played on some uh, quite different teams uh, throughout your major league career. Uh, how would you compare the chemistry on this '96 White Sox team to to some of the other clubs? You've been? It's very unique. Um, I think the chemistry we have here uh, is very unique. Uh, I can't compare it to any of the other other teams that I that I've been. Everyone, every all the other teams that I've played for had you know just a slight different chemistry and. Uh, uh, I like the chemistry we have here because we're, we're easy, we're, you know, we, we don't pressure ourselves. And No, but Danny, those late relievers sometimes do. You've lost a lot of games in the 7th and 8th innings. Uh, what are your thoughts about that area of the club being stabilized, getting to Roberto Hernandez? 
Well, it's been uh, almost uh, by committee. Um, whoever's uh, whoever has a hot hand, uh, that's what Bev's been doing the whole year. And uh, you know, that's that's what you got to have if you don't have a you know a, a set a setup man. Uh, I know Karshner did a did a heck of a job earlier in the year, and then got uh, unfortunately hurt. And uh, it's been by committee the rest of the way. And and I think that uh, you know the guys have overall have done a, a very good job. And uh, you know, hopefully they can continue the rest of the season. Well, great example of uh, patience in action uh, with Danny Tartable, uh, not only uh, early in the year uh, going through the tough times but now uh, riding that crest of some hot hitting and we'll be looking for more of that right into September and uh, we're talking with Marvin Freeman I guess uh, growing up as a kid you probably uh, looked forward to the kind of day where you could uh, be in this ballpark doing some pitching well it was always a dream come true to play at home and um, hopefully I'm um, only a couple of days away from realizing that and I'm very excited about being here and hopefully I can help the club when you were in high school, uh, were you in a position or did you ever actually pitch in a, in a playoff game that put you into the Major League Park? Um, we played in the city championship in the old Comiskey Park. Um, I played there two years in a row and, um, you know, I always liked that big stadium. You know, the, the thought of having um, 40, 50,000 people out cheering or booing you was always exciting to me and, um, you know, I'm getting a chance to live my dream. It's exciting. Uh, of course, your experiences have been more in, uh, in the National League, and uh, you have pitched uh, professionally uh, at Wrigley Field. Uh, tell the folks at home what that was like the first couple of times. Well, you know, I had a ton of people out there visiting me from, um, from the south side of Chicago, and it was just um, a dream come true to be able to play in front of my family and friends. And um, I'm a little closer to the family now, being that I'm from the south side, and um, Hopefully I can um, have the same kind of receptions that I had at Wrigley Field because I pitched well there. You know, as a native Southsider myself, I, I have friends and relatives that I hope are watching. Uh, I grew up around 79th and Pulaski, around Bogan High School. Uh, tell the folks who might not know you uh, from your old neighborhood, your, your old intersection and your uh, hangouts. Well, I grew up around 71st and Dobson. That's around um, Hirsch High School. And um, I preferred not to go to Hirsch because all my um, buddies from the neighborhood went there. So I chose to go to CVS. And, um, you know, here I am today. Um, and it's just, um, I'm just tickled to death to be playing at home. Yeah, that... Uh of course, Vocational has a, maybe a little bit more established sports reputation with uh, the Dick Butkuses, uh, the Chris Zorches, and, and, you know, and other players who came out of there. Although, do you remember the era of Ricky Green? Yeah, I remember Ricky Green. He lived um, not too far from where I grew up at, um, over on um, 71st Street. And um, he was a neighborhood legend. You know, everybody wanted to be like Ricky Green. Now everybody wants to be like Mike. <laughs> 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 but there was uh, a few of them along the way he's skipping uh, that uh, wanted to be like Marvin and just a little bit more about uh, your progression as a pitcher uh, you know certainly you've had a lot of different things happen to you through your career what what do you see your role being uh, over here um, probably coming out of the bullpen um, getting some of those tough right-handed hitters out um, hopefully I can be successful in that role and um, go on and um, expand it um, until next year but um, right now I'm just trying to get myself in a position where I can go out there and, and feel a hundred percent and um, you know just let my natural ability take over because when I'm feeling good then I'm usually throwing good so Herm is um, working real hard with me and um, hopefully he'll get me ready to go I eat on the pasta twice just... Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria at Grand and Racine is the place to go before United Center Pavilion, Bulls, Hawks, Cubs and Sox too. Dine in or carry out with great family recipes, including homemade pastas, steaks, seafood, a great fun bar area. Meet people. Have a tremendous time at Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria Grand and Racine. You'll find a great variety of foods for you to enjoy at Salerno's. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at Watt 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair, 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink, at 21st and State. 
And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. Matt Anthony's Bar and Grill has a great trivia show, in addition to pizza, drinks, and more. They also have a private party room available. And Benkowski Trivia will be there next on July 11th at 6 p.m. Easy to reach at 3350 West 47th Street in Chicago. Big parking lot, too. Matt Anthony's Bar and Grill. Mark Pryor, amazingly, a matter of fact, about outdueling Greg Maddox, and I talked to him after game number three. Mark, uh, players a lot older than you talked about butterflies or tension. First time in a playoff. Um, what did you do to overcome that, or did you overcome it? Um, you know, I don't know if I overcome it, you know, all the way. Um, you know, obviously there's nervous. You know, there's a little anxiety. I mean, uh, you wouldn't be human if you weren't anxious in, in this situation. It's the playoffs. You know, I mean, it's you lose, you go home. And nobody wants to go home. That's the bottom line. And so, yeah, you're anxious, um, but you don't lack confidence. You know what you can do. You know what your job is. And my job is to go out and give us, you know, every chance to win the ball game. And I felt like I did that. And, you know, if you told me I was going to go out and throw, you know, a complete game, I mean, there's no way I would have thought that tonight. But, you know, the, you know, the, uh, I guess as Dusty would say, the stars lined up and, you know, things worked out, you know, in our favor. One over here to the right. Mark, um, I don't know if you had a chance to look outside or whatever, but they're kind of partying like it's uh, you guys just won Game Seven of the World Series. I mean, they're going crazy in the streets. As as a player, I mean, is it hard for you guys as players to keep your emotions in check a little bit when when the fans are going this crazy? Yeah, I mean it's tough, but uh, you know, I I felt in the first inning I was kind of getting letting my emotions get kind of get away from me. And, you know, I, I think then, by like I said earlier, by watching you know Maddox slow the game down when he was getting hit in the first inning, and you know went so that he knew he was in control. I think that that kind of helped me. Uh, these fans have been great to us all year. You know, they've they've been by us uh, through the thick and thin. You know, up and downs. I mean, we had some rough times during this year. We've had some good times. Uh, they've always been here. You know, and uh, obviously they've been here through the course of the last. I don't know, 20 years. I mean, they just are great fans, and um, they deserve to go out and party. I mean, this is something they don't get, they haven't experienced. You know, hopefully they get to experience it more in, in years to come, but it's something they haven't had in a long time. Um, you know, they were there in, uh, I guess it was 98, 99, you know, they got swept through. Um, so it's fun. I mean, it's, they should enjoy themselves, and, and we're enjoying themselves, but we also know what our job is. Take questions for Randall Simon. Over here, the first one. Randall, any satisfaction uh, with a key hit against the club that uh, could have kept you? Oh yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, first of all, I thank God for it, and uh, you know, uh, it was a great feeling knowing that, you know, that's the reason that I came over here is to contribute, you know, to for for us to go to the World Series and to win, you know, and uh, you know, things are going well. I'm I'm having a great time, and every time I go out there. It's for me to give everything I got, you know, to, to help my team to win. And uh, thanks God it were a big, big hit for us to, to get another one. Have you ever seen a pitcher this young, this poised, this good? No, I've been. This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck's Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch, very competitive pricing. Call 708-396-1010.